Nail fungus is an often unnoticed and misunderstood condition. Nearly 7% of all Canadians are affected. In Montreal, Dr. Beatrice Wong works to educate on the causes, misconceptions, and solutions to this condition. Uh, nail fungus is an infection of the nail by fungus. There are a number of fungi that can affect the nail, and this is a very common affliction worldwide. People who have nail fungus don't necessarily feel anything. It's something that they see. The most common type is where the nail gets thicker, yellower, more crumbly. A lot of it has to do with uh, hygiene, making sure that uh, your shoes are clean, they're dry, that you rotate your shoes. Um, if you tend to have more sweaty feet, that makes the skin break down a little bit, so you need to be a little bit more vigorous about uh, drying well between your toes or making sure if you do sweat a lot to change your socks maybe frequently during the day. And looking out for them, a lot of people, especially people who have other health problems like diabetes and such, need to be very um, vigilant at looking at their feet and making sure that the skin is intact. Nail fungus, like everything else, is so much easier to treat if you treat it early. It is important to treat, it's not just a cosmetic problem because you can self-infect, so you will get other nails infected. Here in Canada, we have a number of options available for us, topically, or things that uh, we apply onto the nail. There are a number of products, including one called Penlac and another called Jublia. Pill-wise, uh, we have an oral form, Lamisil and uh, Sporinox. Topical medications are meant to be applied on a daily basis. They need to be applied for a long period of time, sometimes up to a year. Oral medications have a much shorter time span, usually about three months, but we do need to do liver uh, enzyme tests for people who take the oral versions. Topical medications are applied on a daily basis. The problem is, is that they are killing the fungus that's there or stopping the growth of the fungus, but the fungus is trapped in the nail, so you have to wait for the nail to grow out. So you have to be quite patient. What's important before starting any treatment for fungal infection is to make sure that you actually have a nail fungal infection. There are other what we call differential diagnoses, including psoriasis or just plain trauma of the nails, which do not require treatment. So it's important to make sure with a fungal culture before you start any treatment. Nail fungus can recur, and so patients who have had nail fungus infections need to be quite vigilant about protecting themselves, to check between their toes to make sure that things are dry, and also to clean their shoes as well, um, because they can be uh, sources of uh, reinfection of fungus. For more information about nail fungal infections, identification and treatment options, visit healthandfamily.ca forward slash nail fungus.